Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, your girl, annoying as Diddy. All right, so today we are going to be doing some Halloween-inspired um, press-on nails, and um, I got a lot of tea. Let's go. All right, so let me show you what colors I'm using. We got good old white. Um, base coat um, top coat some good old black some green glitter some yellow some orange and some purple glitter right I don't know how this gonna go but we gonna come up with something so you guys I have put my two weeks in at work. Um, I will be leaving soon and handing in my keys. I'm super excited. Um, it was a very, very toxic work environment. And I got out of there. I'm trying to get out of there as soon as possible. I don't know if I'm going to last my whole two weeks. Um, I mean, but you guys heard the stories. I've been telling you in my, if you haven't, you can go check out my Get Ready With Me playlist and um, you will see what I'm talking about. But um, things just, it was one thing after another. And I just didn't like how management was managing. So first off, um, my manager, the lady who is um, the store manager, who the GM basically, she was just telling me too much um, personal information and um, and then come to find out she was telling other people about it and then I heard her talking shit about me with another vendor at the job. I mean, I didn't hear exactly what was said, but, you know, like I heard, oh, oh, um, I love her to death, but, and it's kind of like, when you're in a work environment, there is, it's a business. Um, yeah, we can be a work family, but it's work family. It's not outside family. It's not, I'm not your therapist type of family. You know what I'm saying? Like she was just telling me things like how her husband would um come to her and ask her for sex and she would say oh he would tell me to come give me that p-u-s-s-y give me that p-u-s-s-y and i'm just like what and then she told me about how her ex-husband um killed himself and um how he was molesting their son and um it was just a lot. It was a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot. So, boom. I ended up calling the suicide, um, the suicidal crisis hotline because um, one of my coworkers was suicidal. She was telling me about these thoughts she was having about how offing herself and I told the store manager and um, she told me the only thing that I can do is tell her to go get some type of help right so I'm just like okay yeah do that please do that talk to her because I'm concerned about her safety and um, the first reaction wasn't it wasn't like, let me call her immediately and see if she's okay right now and let me talk to her about it. And um, it was just so disappointing, so disappointing. So like a week go by, right? And then I'm already, my intuition is telling me, get your ass out of this job, right? I don't know where this freaking fly came from. Get your ass out of this job, right? 
so um i started looking for work and i'm like i'm telling my other co-workers like i don't know how much longer i can stay here because it's mentally exhausting right not even physically exhausting it's mentally exhausting because um people are just telling me too much information and it's it, it weighs heavy on me right so my asm had already told me about like what happened in her childhood and how she was um molested right so it weighed down on her mental so now she has like a depression disability and um come to find out she um has had already tried to commit suicide and um and um It was just hard because after I told my manager what she had told me and what type of things that she was thinking, I, um, you know, I told her, I'm like, you, when she told me what the type of thoughts she was having, I was like, you, you should reverse that and tell yourself that you can do whatever you put your mind to. You can go and get your place. You can, you got the heart to go and buy your own car you don't need anybody to help you buy your car you don't need anybody to help you get an apartment you have the ability to do it yourself right so i told her that i told my manager the store manager what she was going through and she said the only thing that she can do is have tell her that she needs to go get some help and um she was saying that um you know there there are um clinics out there that would see her for free and I was just like okay so I was excited about that and I thought that she had relayed the message right so maybe like a week and a half goes by and then I go to work and um, during that week I knew something was wrong with the other ASM because she was like really really pale and stuff and at that time I was just like trying to keep my distance because you know it's 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 i've never gone through something like this i've never had to deal with this type of situation so my best my thoughts were to just stay away but i guess that was that wasn't a good um idea maybe i should have kept in contact with her and because at the time I didn't I I I I tried to like say to myself at work I don't want nobody's phone number I don't want to be friends with anybody I just want to come to work make my money go home right but um that's not how my manager was trying to make it she wanted us to like I don't know what it was first she played the victim and then I got to know her my store manager and then I got to know her and um she would not stop talking about the other ASM the, the other the um the girl the, the girl who tried to commit suicide she just kept like badgering the girl and just she would just talk so much crap about her she still talks crap about her to this day and um It's like, even after the fact that I told you what type of thoughts you were having, you still are talking shit about this girl. And then you say how poorly she, uh, her work habits are and you still gave her a good evaluation, which didn't make any sense. You don't like her, you don't like her work ethic, but you still gave her a good evaluation, a, you know, that really didn't make sense to me but whatever so then right um, like I said uh, a week and a half go by and then in between she um, she's not looking too good you know things are not going her way life is not going her way and then it was on a, I saw her on a Wednesday, right? 
and she looked better. I was like, hey, how you doing? You looking good? She was like, yeah, um, I almost did it last night. And I was like, what? She said, I almost killed myself last night. I was like, I was taken aback. Like, way, 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 way back. And I said, what? She said, yeah, I almost killed myself. I said, why, how? And then she said, I took a bunch of pills. She said, she took a bunch of um, Motrin, was it Motrin? I don't, I don't know if it was Motrin. Some type of pain pill. She took a bunch of um, Tylenol. Oh, it was Benadryl, a bunch of Benadryl. And it was, it was three of them. I can't remember the last one. But she said, yeah, and then I fell asleep. And you know, that same night, I, I haven't had a, a, a migraine since I was in like high school, right? But somehow, some way, that night, I got a migraine real, real bad. Real bad. And um, I had the, the, the sense to throw up. I had the sensation to throw up, right? And then that was a Tuesday. That was Tuesday night. And then, um, and then she, um, that's when the next day I came in and she told me that, oh, I almost did it. I was like, what? I was like, I'm not gonna say her name. I'm like, girl, you know. I was like, why would you do something like that? Why? Why would you do something like that? And then the thing is, is that she said, it's not my first time. And I'm just like, what? She said, then she told me how her friend came in and um, woke her up, was trying to wake her up, and she wouldn't wake up. So she called her, um, she called her mom, and her mom came and um, made her throw up and made her take a cold shower and <sighs> So, um, but the way that she was saying it, like it was a funny, it was funny to her. And I'm just like, why would you do that to yourself? And like, I was shaking, I started shaking and, um, I started crying and, um, I was like, why would you do that to yourself? I said, you know, like, it's people out here that care about you and you are worthy and I said now not only that but I have to think about this myself too I have to deal with this in, on my mental and then she says oh I'll go get some help just so that you won't have to think about it and I was like what I got mad I yelled at her I was like what don't do this don't go get help for me go get help for yourself go get some help for yourself love yourself Stop worrying about what everybody else is thinking and what everybody is doing and all this other mess. Right? And she like, she was shocked. She was shocked that I had yelled at her. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but like, I just, I just reacted. I just reacted. And then she says that, um, when her friends and her her friend and her friend mom they were like oh we're gonna take you to the hospital or whatever and i'm just like um and then she says she told him not to take her to the hospital i was like what i was like those are not your fucking friends okay because your friends would have took your ass to the hospital and she was like yeah but then they would have put me away and then i yelled at her again i was like so why would you put yourself in that predicament if you already know the consequences of it and she ain't say nothing. She ain't say nothing. And then um, she left and she went home and I'm just like, I called my husband and he came, he came to see me um, and my kids. I was so happy to see them. And um, I called the 
crisis hotline and I told him what was going on and um, I had to get my I had to get her phone number from the other um, which my call it the other my, my store manager I got her phone number so this what really um, put the cherry on top it wasn't even the fact that that um, she had did what she did I mean it was it was just a build up of things but this was the cherry on top so after I told my manager all right so that night my manager came in and she was she was going on vacation so she was going on vacation that Wednesday but somehow she came in right she came in and um, she just kept talk she again she started talking about her all over again and I'm like you know she tried to kill herself last night and then um she was like what but it wasn't like oh my gosh what let me call her and make sure she's okay it was just like what i was like yeah she tried to kill herself last night and then um Her reaction wasn't what, like, I want, like, it, it, let me call her. It wasn't that. It was what? And then I was waiting for the follow-up of it, but it never happened. So I was like, and I'm putting in my two weeks. I'm putting in my two weeks. And she says, oh, my gosh, I'm losing a good worker over this. And I'm just like that this this is extreme this is very very extreme and then i walked off because i had to walk off i had to i had to um i shouldn't even i shouldn't have had work i should have just went home that's what i should have done that's what I should have done. I should have just went home. But I stayed. And now I'm leaving. I put in my two weeks. I leave. I'm leaving. I'm out that bitch. And now I gotta look for a new job. I'm more suitable job I need a I need like a, a regular job not I need like with a set schedule and set hours and all of that right yeah so that was that and I just couldn't believe what I was going through. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I called the crisis hotline lady and she was so helpful. Her name was Maya. Man, she was telling me, cause I was telling her about me take, putting in my two weeks and she was like, yeah, you have to do what you gotta do. You gotta take care of you first. And um, I gave her my other ASM information, and um, um, I talked to her, and I told her, I told her everything. I told her everything that I'm telling y'all, and she was so helpful, so helpful. I appreciate you, Maya, because I needed you that day. I mean, I was crying, crying, crying. And the other girl was just like, like it was nothing. That broke my heart, too. Like, you are worth, next time I saw, saw her, I was like, look, you are worth. I told everybody. 
I think the best thing you can do is um, tell anyone and everyone, you know, so everybody can have the opportunity to talk to her and tell her how um, valuable she is and how worthy she is and how loved and cared for she is. So. So that was that. Um, I think that's enough excitement for uh, for like two years for me. But um, I put in my two weeks and so did the other ASM. Because you have to understand that you can't work with people who are constantly talking about you behind your back. And it's just like... The negative energy energy is real whether whether it's positive or negative energy is freaking real okay and um, so she put in her two weeks too because before I even had gotten there my store my other co-workers were telling me that my store manager has been talking about the other ASM and they had I just I started in June they had been there since May so it's hard y'all that was hard so now I keep in touch with her I talk to her almost like on a daily basis you know and um She's moving, but I, I wish it was like um, a better circumstance for her. Cause she's on her own. She's only 20 years old. She's young, but um, it's important if you are feeling like helpless and things are not going your way and um, you're feeling like really at a low point, just please go talk to somebody. Please, 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 please. Talk to somebody. You'll feel a lot, lot better. And I think if my store manager would have spoke, oh, so after all things calmed down, I had asked my, the girl, I had asked her, um, did our store manager talk to you about your situation? Because I had told her Oh, uh, what was going on with you? And she said that she would have talked to you about it. And, um, you know what she told me? She told me no. She never said a word to her about it until she put her two weeks in. And then she says that she told her not to talk about her disability at work anymore since she's leaving. And I was like, what? How dare she tell you not to talk about, isn't that illegal? And, um, I just gotta send an email to the DM, the district manager. I'm gonna have to send her an email. So yeah. That was crazy. And then for her not to even talk to her and tell her that um, to go talk to somebody. And then she's saying that her son is, um, he has PTSD over what happened to him. And she can't afford a psychiatrist or psychologist to help him. But yet you tell me that um, our coworker, the girl, can go talk to somebody for free because there are clinics and hospitals out here that would be willing to take to take um, to listen to her and see what her problem is. But your son can't do it. Like, come on now, son. Please make it make sense. Like, please make it make sense. All right, so. Honestly, 
now that I am leaving, it is such a relief. Like, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stick it out. But, um, yeah. I just don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stick it out. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is what I got so far. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am done with my nails. These are my Halloween inspired nails. I hope you guys, um, if you like them, let me know what you think of them down in the comments below, but your girl has got to go. I gotta go and get ready work um if you know anyone or you yourself are dealing with um low vibrations please 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 you can call the crisis hotline um call somebody go get some air go for a walk just take care of yourself okay and until next time you guys it's annoying as DD. Peace, love, and shade, but a baby.